Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Sam coming here, back with another Division 2 weekly vendor video. Well, I came here as fast as I could after making the Thieves' Den vendor video. Um, so, as you can see, I'm at, at here White House, you know, the White House. So, let's take a look. It's actually pretty good. Uh, something is uh, good on sale. You will like it. You can see MP7 SMG with preservation, Allegro recharged. You can see the damage numbers there. Yeah. And this one right here Police M4 measured extra transmission. Don't get fooled by the 492 gear score, guys. This is very high base damage weapon right here. You can see the damage numbers. It's very high. It's near max. So I would definitely recommend you guys to buy this. Measured extra is pretty good. You can change extra if you want to and put like Allegro and take full advantage of measured and Allegro at the same time with such high base damage. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of damage uh, output, um, you know, in just like half of the magazine is pretty good. So that's a lot of burst damage at the, I mean, at the top half of the magazine, which you're going to do uh with this uh, measured and uh, allegro combo with this amount of uh, base damage so uh, if you want you can definitely buy this and that's what i'm going to say i mean yes you can always craft an m4 but uh, sometimes it doesn't uh you know uh, craft the, the thing you want like no, not with the perfect talents or base damage is lower sometimes you get unlucky so it's here a ready-made weapon is on sale so you should definitely buy this and use it that's, that's what I'm going to say. Until you were able to craft the maxed uh, or near max or whatever um, M4 you want. Uh, next, we have a 93R pistol with Ranger, Distance, and Rooted. And then we have F uh, F11 Tactical Backpack with 2.5% weapon damage, uh, 12,416 armor, 6% crit damage, hardened, restorative. And then we have Predator of Defense Group Vest with 4. 47 skill power, 4.5% crit damage, 8% crit chance, 2.5% weapon damage, and talent is capacitive. And then we have Offensive Protocol Critical Mod, which is 1% weapon damage, 2.5% headshot damage, 3% crit chance. So this is a really nice mod. So if you want to increase your crit chance, you're having trouble increasing your crit chance. So you can just put all these mods. This will enable you to use, let's say, crit damage on your build or health on your build or armor in your build. Uh, instead of like, um, you know, taking those attributes and putting their like crit chance there. So instead of that, you can go like, let's say for the example, like the knee pads. So instead of putting like a 9% crit chance on your knee pads if you have these mods uh, like three of them you get nine percent crit chance from these mods anyway so you can just put let's say 13 percent 13.5 percent total armor on your knee pads so that will increase your armor so, so that's like the perfect trade-off right there so yeah and uh, next we have um drone mod which is 23.4 percent blast radius and last we have a turret mod which is 42.7 percent skill haste so yeah that's it for the white house vendor i'm just gonna glow, go to the glow <laughs> i'm just gonna go to the clan vendor and see you guys there all right, guys, we're here at the clans vendor. So let's take a look. So as you can see, we have the named Alt Summit Ornament Backpack uh, with 24,218 armor, 6.5% crit damage, perfect tech support, and insulated. So if you want, you can buy it and try it out. If you just, you know, you, know, you just want to use perfect tech support. Um, then next, we have Hardware Vest with uh, 576 skill power, 7% crit damage, 5% headshot damage, and talent is restorative. And next, we have True Patriot Knee Pads with 6% crit chance. And then we have uh, True Patriot Gloves with 11% Assault Rifle damage and 3% Marksman Rifle damage. It's pretty good. 11% um, is acceptable. Uh, yes, the max you can get it 13%. Uh, so, I mean, if you want to use a True Patriot Gloves for some reason, you can definitely use this. Get rid of the Marksman Rifle damage and put like Crit Chance there. That would be pretty good. So, yeah, and it's also an offensive mod slot. It's always a bonus. All right, next we have ACS-12 um, Shotgun with Steady Handed, Allegro, and Vescali. You can see the damage numbers there. It's not that high, honestly. Um, then we have ACR-SS uh, Rifle with Reformation, Accurate, and Protected Deploy. And then we have Providence Defense um, Holster with 7.5% crit damage, 284 skill power. And then we have Military P416 uh, Assault Rifle with Optimist, Extra, and Rooted. You can see the damage numbers there. I'm not sure about this one, though. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm actually not sure, but seems like a decent one or more than decent, but I'm not sure about the base damage. You guys can figure it out. All right, next we have Desirous Pistol with Vindictive, uh, Extra, and Stop, Drop, and Roll. And then we have China Light Industry Mask with 17% damage to elites, 5.5% crit chance, and talent is restorative. And then we have Oriol Holding Vest with 31,127 armor, 5.5% crit damage, and talent is hardened. So that's pretty good armor right there. So if you want some armor in your build, you can buy this and swap this to your uh, main build or whatever you want to do it. It's not that high, but it's 31 is, is pretty good if you don't have it. Yeah. 
Uh, next, you have Utility System Mod, which is 131 skill power, 56 hype skill power, and 146 drone skill power. And then we have um, Chem Launcher Mod, which is plus 5 ammo. And next, we have Utility System uh, Protocol Mod with 93 skill power, 2% increased poison duration, 2% increased shock duration. And last, we have a Chem Launcher Mod, which is 55.3% heal. So, yeah, that's it for the clan vendor. I was going to go to the theater settlement, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we're here at the theater settlement. So let's take a look. So as you can see, we have the Marine Super 90 uh, shotgun with strain, stable, and cannon. And then we have Police MK17 rifle with strain, extra, and protected deploy. And then we have Oriol the Holdings gloves with 9% LMG damage, and talent is kneecap. Uh, and then we have Overlord Ornaments knee pads with 15,902 health, talent is insulated. And then we have Defensive System Mending Mod, which is 5,171 armor, 2% explosive resistance, 6,142 health. And then we have Seeker Mind Mod, which is 70.8% healing. And then we have Ballistic Shield Mod, which is 55.3% health. And then we have uh, Firefly Mod, which is plus 3 max target. So yeah, that's it for the Theater Settlement Vendor. And I'll see you guys at the Campus Settlement. Alright guys, we're here at the campus element, so let's take a look. So we have the SR-1 Marksman Rifle with Reformation, Jazz Hands, and Rooted. And next we have um, MG5 LMG with Measured, in, uh, Stable, and in Rhythm. And then we have 511 Tactical Mask with 178 Skill Power, 17% Skill Haste, and Talent is Centered. And then we have Orioldi Holdings uh, Holster with 12.5% Crit Damage. Then we have Utility System Mod, which is 97 skill power, 56 uh, turret skill power, 187 pulse skill power. And then we have um, Chem Launcher Mod, which is plus 5 ammo. And next uh, is Hive Mod, which is 22% healing. And last, we have a Pulse Mod, which is 30.6% effective duration. So yeah, that's it for the Campus Settlement Vendor. Now let's go to the DZ East, and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we are here at the DZ East. And we have Classic M44 Carbine uh, with Steady Handed, Extra, and Cannon. And next we have M4, M249B LMG with Sadist, Distance, and Transmission. Next we have Providence Defense uh, Mask with 10% Skill Haste, 35% Hazard Protection, and Talent is Empowered. And next we have Op Summit Ornaments uh, Holster with 658 Skill Power, and Talent is Insulated. And next we have Utility System Mod, which is uh, 58 Skill Power, 97 Pulse Skill Power, and 197 Drone Skill Power. And then we have an Auxiliary Battery for your Chem Launcher, which is 242 Chem Launcher Skill Power. And next we have um, Hype Mod, which is 52.8% Skill Haste. And last we have a Pulse Mod, which is 48.6% Effect Duration. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the DZ East. Let's go to the DZ South, and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we're here at DZ South, so let's take a look. So we got the MP5A2 SMG with eyeless, stable, and transmission. And next we have Socom MK16 assault rifle with spike, stable, and in rhythm. And next we have M M45A1 uh, pistol with close and personal, optimized, and protected deploy. And next we have Richter and Kaizo backpack with 2% crit chance, 3.5% weapon damage, 367 skill power. Talents are on the ropes and vital. And next we have Yol Gear Vest with 22,719 health, 4.5% weapon damage, 8.5% headshot damage, and talent is vital. And next we have Offensive System Mod, which is 1% weapon damage, 2% uh, weapon handling, and 6% optimal range. And next we have uh, Drone Mod, which is plus 4 extra bombs. And last we have a Turret Mod, which is 78.1% health. So yeah, that's it for the DZ South. And let's go for the last vendor uh, for the week, which is DZ West. And I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we are finally here at DZ West, which is the last vendor for this week. So let's take a look. We have these Tactical Super 90 SVS Shotgun with Close and Personal, Accurate and Transmission. And next we have Urban MDR Rifle with Sadist, Optimized and Protected Reload. And next we have Wyvern Wear Gloves with 3.5% Crit Chance, 5% Pistol Damage and Talent is Clutch. Pretty good. I mean, we, we love to use Wyvern Wear previously, but we stopped using it. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you guys still use it on your Clutch build. Wyvern Wear piece is a nice piece to have, you know. Crit damage, crit chance, you get it from the gear set. Uh, this comes with 3.5% crit chance anyway, so you can just change the pistol damage and put like SMG, LMG, or assault rifle of, uh, of your like choice, whichever you use it. Uh, and it's a pretty good gloves, clutch, crit chance. Use it uh, till you can, you know, because we all know from 3rd March we won't be able to. So yeah. And next we have Miracom Industries um, knee pads with 6.5% total armor and talent is self-adjusting. And next we have Defensive Protocol Stamina Mod, which is uh, 8,272 health, 5% skill health, 1,879 armor on kill. And next we have Seeker Mind Mod, which is plus 4 extra cluster mines. 
And then we have a Ballistic Shield mod, which is 87.7% skill haste. And last, we have an Auxiliary Battery mod for your Firefly, which is a 245 Firefly skill power. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the weekly vendor, guys. Um, there are uh, pretty good stuff, honestly. It's not like great, but it's not bad either. So yeah, uh, if you like the video, then yeah, thumbs up. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And I, oh, of course, keep the notification on for tomorrow, of course, because, yeah, Cassie Mendoza resets. So um, I'm going to make that video for sure. And uh, yeah, until then, peace.